Hey everyone, so this video is going to be on motivation. What makes you want to get up and work out, eat healthily most of the time? Um, a lot of you guys, I think, have seen my set plan, fell in love with it, but I think you're still taking it as just a diet um, and just a thing to stick to for a few weeks until you lose the weight. Because let's be honest, like if you're watching this right now, you just want to be skinny. You know, you just want to do it as fast as possible, and that's okay because that's what I once wanted to. I just wanted to, you know, lose weight, get in shape, bam, and then go back to my normal life. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Like, you can do fast diets, you can skip meals, or you can just not eat for three days and you'll lose weight. Like, that's a fact. It's so bad, I don't recommend it. But that's a fact. You cannot eat or exercise like crazy for a week straight and you'll lose weight. But what happens, you know, for the next few years or months, even the next day, you'll put that weight right back on, probably even more. So I think I really want to get into your mind, guys, that motivation kind of should come with the whole idea that this it is, a, it is a journey and that this, you know, the wanting to be, I guess, slim or more toned, it needs to be incorporated into your life for it to be long term. And that's what you guys want. Like you want to be, you know, fit and healthy long term. You know, you, it's impossible just to do a fast diet, lose weight, because you'll put it back on. So I think that's going to be my first little tip: is that you really got to get it into your minds that this is something you want to make a lifestyle, not just a diet. Another thing is that before you are going, you know, going to go onto it, my set plan or incorporate your own routine, you really need to have a sense of want. Like you, there is. You need to want it. Like, you can't just read something and be like, yep, I'm going to do it. You need to want it from inside. You need to want to make a change, and that needs to be quite a huge want, I guess, if you really want to see results. So, you need to tell yourself, do you want this? Because if you don't want this, like, if you don't want to lose weight, cool. So many, I have so many friends, my mum's friends, who, you know, are a little bit, you'd say, larger, and they love it. They love their life. So, I think. If you want to have a healthy life, you really got to make that clear in your mind, you know, tell yourself that you want it. Along with that is definitely a positive attitude. Like that, I know it sounds really cliche, and like, you know, you got to be positive, uh -huh. <laughs> but that is actually a really huge thing. You've got to be positive with your journey. If you, you know, feel tired or if you miss a workout because you just couldn't feel like it, that's okay. You've got to keep going though. That's the that's what's going to make it. Like cuz in saying before, this is going to be a lifestyle. So you're going to have some days where you don't want to work out. You know, before your period or during your period or you had a bad day and you just want to sit and watch gossip girl. Cool. Like you're going to have those days and so be positive through it. Be like, "You know what? I'm resting." Cool. Like it's okay. And that brings me to the next thing, which is treating. Um in my set plan, I think I recommend it two or three times. Um, that's only because that plan is for girls who want to lose weight fast um, and healthily of course. But if you're incorporating into your lifestyle and you don't mind going a little bit slower than um, what I recommended, then be okay eating um, treats. May I recommend maybe three to four times a week if you still want to be healthy. Um, so just be okay doing it and when you're eating the treat don't feel bad because if you are eating let's say McDonald's um, you know, you're having a cheeseburger and some fries, and you're like, oh, this is so bad for me. That food is going into your body so negatively, and that's going to impact so much more of like your mindset, of like, oh, I should give up, all that kind of stuff. So really, stay positive through it. Know that you can do it because you want to do it, and that it's going to be okay to step up sometimes. It's okay to treat, to have bad days. That is actually good to have those. It means you're human. Another thing to keep motivated would be, again, to make this lifestyle choice easy and fun. You're not going to stick to an exercise routine that's hard, let's face it. Unless you're really, really motivated, cool, don't know why you're watching this then, go away. <laughs> um, but if you're not motivated, um, it's probably because what you're doing isn't what you want, what your body wants. It's actually okay to make it fun. Losing weight can actually be fun and simple. I know the media puts it out like, you know, you gotta work, you gotta work to see results. And yes, that's true, but why not just make it fun and easy? Like, there, I'm telling you, you can do that. And I actually think that gets you better results and gets you so much more happier. Another thing which I think will keep you motivated is to be patient. 
I know you want to lose weight and I know you want to do it fast, everyone does. But um, what I strongly believe is that it does take time. Like, you know, one run isn't going to make you lose weight. You know, even a week won't really see your results. Even though, um, actually, a few girls have reckon, have um, said they've lost weight already from my set plan in a week. So I hope that's not, like, too drastic for them. Anyway, but back onto the point, I think you should wait three to four weeks till you see a result. I saw this thing on Tumblr ages ago, and it was like, Four weeks till I see the change, eight for friends and family, twelve for the rest of the world. And I think that's a really good, reasonable um, thing to go by. So if you haven't seen results and it's been two weeks, don't give up because your, pro your body probably just needs to get used to it, you know, maybe the workouts are too sudden or your body will get used to it and you will see results. Like it's fact. If you're eating right and exercising most days, you will lose weight. There's no, there's no complication about that. Okay, so now with that in mind, they got a bit of the mentality. Um, I'm going to go into a section which is just going to be some quick tips. So the first one is to write a list of 50 reasons or more of why you want to lose weight, turn up, put on weight, um, whatever you want to do to motivate yourself. So for example, um, I think I have them on my Tumblr. It's called Reasons to Be Healthy. Um, you can make your own up, like say, you know, I want to fit into a size 8 dress, I want to wear a bikini and smile, just really simple ones like that, and make a list of them, make 50, make more than 50 if you can, and whenever you feel, you know, like you just don't want to do it, or you just ugh, can't be bothered to work out, read the list, seriously, <laughs> um, it helps. I have my own, um, I don't really read it as much anymore, but definitely when I was struggling, it really did help, but just, you know, and just remind yourself of why you want to do this and that you can do this and looking forward to all those good things that are way. Okay, so another tip which I definitely, this is something I'm a little bit, I guess, embarrassed to do at first, but I think it really did help me to stay motivated and that is, I actually made a little, like, this stands up in my room, it still stands up in my room behind my door and it's just like a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, um, it's a little, like, motivational platform which I just put workouts that I found on Tumblr, like you guys can print out your set plan if you want, or put your favourite workouts here, and it's just something that I see every day, and I just look at it, I look at the girls, and I'm like, you know, I really want that. Um, so I think it's just a really good reminder that I can work out. And on that note, it's actually got heaps of workouts. So if you're ever like, not in a rush, or just, you know, just don't want to do much, like, I always do little workouts, like this one here, um, which is like, just the burn 100 calories and it's just um, 40 jumping jacks, 30 crunches, 20 squats, 10 push-ups. That takes me like five minutes. So if I'm like in a rush or something, I can still do that and it's so easy and it keeps me motivated to do more. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys make a little wall like this and put it up in your room somewhere because it will keep you motivated and it's a little bit special. Um, another thing is, if say you've... Um, you've treated it a little bit this week and you see something and you really want to eat it. So say it's a good friend's birthday, she bought some cakes to school and you're like, oh I really want to eat that. Um, but you've already treated it a little bit so you're just like, you know, you just want to eat that a little bit more. Something that I still do is that I see something um, I want to eat, I say to my body, I'm like, alright, we're going to eat that and it's going to be amazing, but tomorrow we're going to do twice as much workout. So say if I was planning on doing a sprint jog, I have to do it for twice the amount of time. Um, and that, it's good because if you can stick to that, so you eat the cake, you feel happy, and then the next day you go for that workout and you're like, oh, I have to do this. So then, I guess, like, like in your mind, you're like, it, I don't know how to explain it. In your mind, your mind says to you, oh, this is fun, it's probably easier just not to eat the cake. Um, so next time we go for the cake, your mind remembers that workout and they're like, oh, maybe not. Um, so that's just another thing you can do, is just promise yourself to work out extra hard if you eat something which you don't want to eat. Yeah, so that's just a few quick tips to keep motivated. I hope that helps. I probably will make another video on motivation um, and I think of some more stuff and how to explain it better. Thank you all so much and thank you.